1075 Dave Rocks in 736. So excited this morning. Don Most is on the show. If you just missed it moments ago, you had a very important weather forecast. Yeah, nine degrees and sun. <laughs> Look at that, eh? He still <laughs> got it. Bringing the sunshine with him. I love it. Uh, formerly Ralph Mouth of Happy Days, and we'll get to those happy days in the past coming up. You are in town, though, for a show you're really excited about. Tell us about it. Yes, I am. It's a wonderful play called Art. And um, I was aware of the play. It, it was on Broadway about 20 years ago. It won the Tony for Best Play and a bunch of other categories. And um, I always knew it was a great play, but I hadn't ever read it all the way through, and I hadn't had the opportunity to see it. But I was aware of it by reputation. But then when Drayton Entertainment contacted uh, my agent and, and then ultimately myself and uh, asked if I'd be interested in doing it, I immediately was excited uh, on on that one level of knowing how good the play was. Then, when I read reread when I read it actually all the way through, then I saw just how incredible a play this is and what uh, opportunity uh, the roles the three roles in it are f- fantastic. Mm. And then I had a conversation with uh, the director Max Reimer, who's with Drayton Entertainment, and mm-hmm. and after the conversation, I felt. Uh, really good and he told me about the other actors who were going to do it and and um, which uh, Lee McDougal is playing one of the roles and Ralph Small um, who uh, had worked together in the past and up here and all around so uh, I, I I got so excited about the vibe I got from Max and then reading the play uh, I was like I think I posted on on, on my social media, I said, I'm chomping at the bit. You did? Yeah, I'm chomping at the bit to do this play because it's, it's rare that you get... Um, I mean, I, I've had... I did a play called The Sunshine Boys a few years ago, which is a great Neil Simon play, and it's two characters a lot on stage. Um, and I've done a few like that, you know, where, where they were really good parts. But the, the writing in this play is just brilliant, and, and it's very funny... But it also get it also brings up all kinds of stuff. It gets into friendship. Three guys, you know, mm. have been friends for a long time. And art uh, is sort of the catalyst. It's not really about art, but it just ha- happens in this case that that's the art is the catalyst to sort of um, break down layer by layer their uh, stuff about their friendship. Yes, yeah, so you play so, so you play Serge, and I, the idea yeah. is you go out and you buy some you know, some crazy piece of abstract art which sets everybody off yeah, yes. and that's that, where the layers start to come apart that's exactly it I, I buy this crazy this painting and i spend a ridiculous amount of money on it and and uh the uh, mark played by by lee mcdougall is aghast that i would do so you know he's <laughs> looking at this going you could not have paid that much for this painting you know and little by little and then the other guy is stuck in the middle, and it just starts bringing up all kinds of things. But it's, some of it is very funny, but, but then it, it gets uh, kind of serious at times. So it's a great blend for, for, for me. Well, you do have a singing background as well. Are you going to be singing in this play? I am not going to be singing oh! in this play. Uh, yeah, I wish. Um, but I guess another time, you know, in a actual Did you musical. sing Swing? I, I sing jazz, standard, swing, blues, that kind of stuff. Really? All the great. I did it when I was young. I was singing when I was 15, 14, 15 years old in a nightclub act in a resort area called the Catskill Mountains, upstate New York. They had a lot of hotels with nightclubs. Yeah. So I was 14, 15, singing that kind of stuff. I always loved, you know, the great American songbook, as they call it. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of the. Did you sing before you were on Happy Days? Oh, yeah. Sang really? on Happy Days, too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I didn't get Happy Days till I was about 20. And I was doing. You were 20? Yeah, I was 20 when I started. Yeah, but we, you know, looked young. And, I know. The then, good old days, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> Here's what I find interesting because you're a redhead. And I have my, my daughter's a redhead and one of my best friends. And the thing with, with redheads is you don't go gray. You seem to just go yeah. blonde. So yeah, you never yeah. age. <laughs> yeah, it gets, yeah, it got the, the red faded. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, soon it's going to get a little lighter and lighter, and then it'll be. 
it could get whitish, you know. I've seen some redheads get. You yeah. look fantastic. Like oh. you actually look still like Ralph Mouth. Like oh. it's blowing my mind. I'm just I'm <laughs> absolutely starstruck this morning. We'll talk a little bit about your time with Happy Days, and sure. um, we're so excited that you're excited to be here and oh. doing the show at Drayton. I've, I'm so excited, and the people have been great. Uh, you know, we're in rehearsals right now, and we're having a great time. The other actors are, you know, Ralph and Leah, great, and Max is terrific. So, and and the whole crew, everybody around, uh, in Drayton is is it's a great a place to be. It is really fantastic. Yeah, and and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, St. Jacob's Playhouse, which will be moving over there in about a week. Um, I hear um, we've been rehearsing in Cambridge. Oh, okay. At the Hamilton Family Theater. Oh, I'm right around the corner from there. I can bring you coffee. Oh, okay, well, perfect. Please do. <laughs> Maybe a muffin or something. Perfect. More coming up with Don Most and also tickets. If you want to get to see this show, I certainly do. It sounds fantastic. We'll be pairing you up with those before 8 o'clock. It's 741. More on the way. 107.5, Dave Rocks and Aerosmith at 748. More with Don Most. We know him as Ralph Mal from Happy Days. Just talking about his production with Drayton Entertainment. He's going to be in the production art. We're going to have some tickets to give away very shortly. But we have to ask you about Happy Days. You said you were 20 when you played Ralph Mouth. When I first started. You okay. Know, um, uh, I turned 20 a few months before. Uh, our first episode was shot. Yeah, and you were, and I did it for seven seasons. Yeah, and you were originally just supposed to be like you were kind of an, an extra character, and it was so popular they were like, no, no, bring this guy in. Um, yeah, what happened was I actually auditioned for the role of Potsy. Did you? Yeah. Um, they they were not auditioning people for Ralph. Uh, he was, uh, uh, it was like a, uh, he had a few lines in the pilot episode. But what happened was, um, Ron, Ron and Anson, Ron Howard and Anson Williams had done a pilot of Happy Days two years earlier, and it didn't sell. Um, <laughs> so they threw it on Love American Style as a as a, yeah. one of the episodes to get use out of it. Then um, American Graffiti comes out, right, and a huge hit about mm-hmm. the fifties. Grease comes out on Broadway. Whoa, yeah. So then the people at ABC say, "Wait a minute, didn't we have a show about the fifties? And, <laughs> and they went to Gary Marshall, who was the creator, and said, "Let's. I think this is. Let's. But let's do a new pilot." So um, they thought that Ron and Anson maybe would be too old now to be high school. And Gary said, "No, no." But they made Gary go through all these screen tests, and I was one of the actors who screen tested for Potsy. So then my agent called after that and said, um, you didn't get that role, but they liked your screen test so much, they want to create a character. And there's a small part wow. in the pilot. We'll make, they'll make it a regular character. And, uh, you know, we'll, and we'll see. So, so, yeah, and at the beginning, my, I was sort of on the periphery yeah. and one of the friends, but not you know, in, as intrinsic to the show. And then as things developed and, and they liked what I was doing and they put me in more and more. Well, we love you. Oh, thanks. We love you. Do you have a favorite episode of Happy Days? Um, I think, I mean, I'm part, a little prejudiced to the ones that centered around my character. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, there's probably three that come to mind. Uh, one is the first one that where I was featured as not just a supporting thing, a a player in that piece. And that was the one where uh, somebody had totaled Fonzie's bike and he was out to get the guy who did it. And it turns out... But me, it was me. I actually <laughs> did it. I panicked, and then I'm, I was going to leave town and everything. Um, so that was a really, it was really well written, and my first big episode. Um, then there was one where um, I had this girlfriend who was a very sophisticated girlfriend but uh, but she couldn't deal with my my antics and i was trying to keep it together all the time but i finally couldn't <laughs> and then she left me and then i was devastated and i was going to join the uh, french foreign league oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. and then fonzie talks me to join the marines and then i was going to do that then he had to talk me out of leaving and then there was a show um when we were all up at the cabin and we were pretending to get the college girls we because we were in high school we said we can't be ourselves we have to be somebody something better more interesting so we came up with that we were tunisian camel jockeys <laughs> <laughs> i remember that episode so <laughs> i actually got a we actually got a message in from uh from mike and he, he says do you remember this i went to africa and played cards with the natives zulus, zulus? <laughs> no i won <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, see, yes. people remember those lines, yeah. and you always had Zulu's. like those. Yeah, yeah no, and you I always won. had those great those, and often the one-liners that would come out, and then it would just be sort of everyone would be deadpan going. Okay, or like, you were like the teenage dad joke guy, right? right. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, it was. Um, we had great, you know, great cast, obviously, but even uh, the behind the scenes people, Gary Marshall being our exec producer. No kidding. And and then we had a director that uh, was brilliant as well, Jerry Paris, who used to direct all the old Dick Van Dyke shows, and um, he was just a genius. And so between Gary heading up all the writers and. And Jerry and the cast, um, it was just an incredible uh, group to work with and great experience. A different time in TV. In fact, uh, for us, quite a romantic look back on that because I remember sitting down at 8 o'clock on Tuesday nights. My entire family would have dinner, get everything cleaned up, and all together we would sit down in front of the TV and we would watch Happy Days at 8 o'clock and sit together for Laverne and Shirley at 830 we don't seem to have that anymore I know. going back. And even, I mean, Happy Days, a rerun was on the other day where all you guys were making out with chicks at a party. It's not yeah. like it was, you know, totally, uh, you know. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't, it was soft, but, but yeah. it still had a little bit of a. But you edge. could sit with your family. Yeah, yeah, because it was all clean. And, and it's true. So when I travel around, I get that a lot from people. They'll say, Oh, we wish there were shows like that, you know, that we could watch together as a family. And it's so different now. Lost art. Yeah. Well, you know, there's so many choices for people now. And that's what makes it uh, tougher. You guys all, like the remaining cast, uh, a lot of you still stay in touch. Yeah, yeah. Um, I speak to Anson Williams, who played Potsy. All the time, we're su- Weber. yeah, <laughs> Potsy. We're, we're super close, maybe even closer now, you know. And wow. um, I s- saw Marion Ross, Ma- the Mrs. C, who's doing great. I saw her recently, and um, he- Ron's a little tough. T- he's all over the world mm-hmm. and stuff. But you know, we stay in touch, and Henry as well. You know, it's great. We're like still like a bit of family. We got to do one. A- 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 I want to hear just you do it. Hey. Hey. There you go. And it still got it. I still got it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs>